Bob a length into General Grant, who's racing one off the rails. Broadway Rhythm out three and four wide. A gap to Mr. Flinders, Peaceful Kingdom, Malgara. Brother Peter second last, and Grays Point relegated to the rear. On the side at the 800 metres, Rock Sun by 2 0 to 12. Then comes General Grant steadily making ground, and so is the grey Broadway Rhythm, one of the greys in the race, and there are a few. Algonquin Club next. LA Triumph has given up. Malgara and Mr. Flinders make ground. Peaceful Kingdom hard ridden. Grays Point second last. Brother Peter's last as they pack. At the 500 onto the corner, 0 to 12 goes to the lead from Rock Sun. Broadway Rhythm third. Algonquin Club waiting for the run and behind those horses next as they commence the swing around the home corner is Malgara. And now Rock Sun at 0 to 12. 0 to 12 has gone wide as they straighten up and as they head for the judge. 250 to go. 0 to 12, the leader from Peaceful Kingdom getting through now. Followed by Algonquin Club and then Rock Sun. Peaceful Kingdom is out after 0 to 12. And on the inside, Peaceful Kingdom and Malgara. Malcolm Johnston, oh, he's run into Oda Twal and Kevin Moses, shades of an earlier race nearly, and as they reach the line, Peaceful Kingdom has beaten Oda Twal, third on the outside, Algonquin Club, followed by Roxon Broadway Rhythm, then Grays Point, followed by General Grant, Brother Peter, Mr Flinders, Malgara, tailed off was at a triumph. Right, the numbers there, 4-2-1 and one, as called by Ian Craig. Let's have another look at this. Malcolm Johnston's ridden his fourth winner for the day and twice before this has happened. This makes it three out of four times he's won that there's been some sort of interference over the last bit. Well, he's come out and absolutely poleaxed that one 0 12 Peaceful Kingdom in front, 0 12 on the outside. Could be another protest here. I think uh, Malcolm Johnston may be a little bit confused. He might think he's riding Dodgem cars today, but... Uh, well, there's been plenty happening in his races. 4-2-1 and one, as called by Ian Craig, race 6 in Sydney. Now, the 7th at metres, we've got a field of 12. Anna Rett is the last one to move in now. Up it comes. Anna Rett moves into the stalls. They're all set. Your commentator, Brian Markovic. Line good now for race number 7 here at Kilmore. Substitute number 6, Ruse Busson. Over the 1600. Light on. Racing, Broken Drum didn't beat it after the start. He missed it about three quarters or so. Eeled an occasion and also Gallant Rebel away quickly. They match strides early. Two lengths away, our reckless boy. Celtic Seal on the outside going forward. Caught a little bit deep though. Followed by in behind them, Orchid Lass. A length away, Ruse Busson. Back in behind them, Hackett's in. Followed by Little Arnold, Alford Lass. Two lengths away, settling down well back as Anaret. Followed by Broken Drum. And Kamida's image is last. Along the back at the 1150, our reckless boy on the outside draws up with her neck revealed an occasion and Celtic Seal out three wide still going forward. Orchid Lass is racing fourth. Two and a half away Gallant Rebel followed by Ruse Bichon coming one off the fence. Little Arnold racing deep. A break of two and a half to Alford Lad. Some four lengths to Hackett's in. Well back as Broken Drum and a red and four lengths away Kamida's image. Travelling down the side near the 800. Yield an occasion a length in front of our reckless boy. Celtic Seal's always been wide. He gets to third being hard ridden. Not going well though. Orchid Lass has had the run of the race followed by Ruse Bichon now taking closer order. Little Arnold back in behind them going forward, followed by Gallant Rebel Alford Lad. Broken Drum as well back, followed by Anna Red Hackett's in and two lengths away, Kamida's image around the bend they will, 4.50 to go. Our reckless boy joining Eild and Occasion, but Orchid Lass is coming at them quickly and four deep as Lynn Arnold making ground, followed by Ruse Bichon on the turn, 300 metres to go. Orchid Lass in the centre took over narrowly, Little Arnold coming at it quickly. Our reckless boy boxing on, Ruse Bichon under a lot of pressure, followed by Broken Drum making ground at the 150 little Arnold now opened up he broke away from Orchid Lass and our reckless boy then Anaret from well back who's making ground but it's all little Arnold little Arnold win by two and three quarter lengths to Orchid Lass three quarters away third our reckless boy Anaret made up a lot of ground for fourth followed by Kamida's image fifth then Broken Drum Ruse Bichon did nothing followed by Gallant Rebel then Eild an occasion Alford Lad Celtic Seal and Hackett Sinners run last. Brian Markovic places them eight five and nine race seven at Kilmore the winner, number eight, Little Arnold, ridden by Steve Burridge. Second, five, Orchid Lass. And third, number nine, Our Reckless Boy, eight, five and nine. You're watching Racing Around Australia here on SIP. We've got it. There, and that is race six, the Bennett Saddlery Handicap. We have a field of 11. And they look as though they're all in line. One or two attendants climbing into the gates and just waiting on one or two of the runners to be straightened. Attendance in with them. Light about to flash. 
There it is, and they're racing. Here's Ron Pace. Oh, record on Thursday. They're off now, and a good start too. Saw Joe and Lou on the inside get away well with Inter Win and Top Guard coming across in front of them. Summer Night jumped well out wide and is working over to be in the early part, followed then by Ella Rama. They were followed by Knight's Hero and Flying Galaxy, the hurdler working between horses. Joe and Lou getting back on the rail. Inside behind those then came Clyde's mate around spot on target, and they were followed out wider on the track by Lady Joanna in a compact field, and Zoom Cloud last, but only five off the lead. Working on the side of the course now, heading to the 1800 metre crossing, and the leader here is Summer Knight, drawing out about two and a half to top guard, a length and a half further back, Ella Rama. Then on the inside of the hurdler, Flying Galaxy in to win with 1800 to go. Lady Joanna was midfield, leading up behind those, then Clyde's mate, and then Knight's hero on the outside. On the rail is Lady is a Joanne Lou, a length and a half further back to spot on target, and Zoom Cloud is last. They've got 1600 to go, and they shape up to run into the far side, where the leader now, Summer Knight, by three. In second position came Top Guard, as about two and a half further back then came Ella Rama on the outside of Interwin. Flying Galaxy, the jumper midfield with Lady Joanna and then Joanne Liu. Further back, Knight's Hero wide around Clyde's mate between horses and on the inside spot on target and a half away to Zoom Cloud as they work along the far side. Going to the 1200 metre point, Summer Knight giving them something to chase, led by two. Top Guard second, a length and a half into win, inching closer. Ella Rama nicely positioned fourth and then came between horses, Knight's Hero. Lady Joanna there, and on the rail next is a Flying Galaxy. They were followed by Joanne Lou inside of Clyde's mate Zoom Cloud, and spot on target. 900 or so to go, and the leader Summer Knight, only a length now to top guard. A length away, and on the rail into win within a length, then El Rama being hard ridden, but making some ground. Then came Lady Joanna who's worked into it quickly from further back, Flying Galaxy, and Knight's hero struggling. Joanne Lou held up badly for a run. Clyde's mate around her. Now Joanne Lou gets between horses. Zoom Cloud next, spot on target. Last, but only four and a half to five off the lead. A compact field as they come to round the turn where Top Guard held, uh, heads the other one summer night. Lady Joanna goes up now and Ella Rama is wide out. Joanne Lou getting into the race from Interwin. Flying Galaxy, the hurdlers run a nice race but can't get a run on the rail. It's Top Guard clear. Lady Joanna goes up into second placing and Joanne Lou could be the danger out wide. It's running home very well. He's starting to panic on Top Guard as they run to the 200. Joanne Lou pegging it back and then further back Lady Joanna no other chances headed by the hurdlers. The Flying Galaxy, Top Guard collared by Joanne Lou out wide. She's run to the lead, she's home. Top Guard on the inside trying hard, but Joanne Lou packing too many guns. About eight horses from the rail wins it well. Second Top Guard, third the Hurdler Flying Galaxy by G. It was a big run. Then came Zoom Cloud followed by El Rama. Lady Joanna every chance, Knight's Hero. Eight lengths away, Clyde's mate in to win, followed then by Summer Knight and spot on target, one of the last. 6-13-10, as called by Ron Paps. Number 6, Joanne Lou, the winner. Second, 13, Top Guard. And third, 10, Flying Galaxy. 6-13-10, race 6 in Adelaide. The next event there is the big one, the West End Goodwood Handicap at 20 minutes after 4. Scratchings are 9, 15 and 22. Still a field of 19. Luther's Luck, $2.80 and $1.10. Testimony, $7.55 and $2.45. Three Richfields Lad, $12.30 and $3.05. Four Princely Heart, 2.30 and 85. Five Aqualone, 27.30 and 6.35. Number six, Daring John, is the tote favourite, $1.15 and 50. Seven Mahogany Row, 15.65 and 3.25. Eight Reputed, 15.25 and 3.70. Nine Out, 10 Art Master, 64.10 and 14.30. 11 Aussie Pack, $75 and $15. 12 Cameronic, $30 and 6.60. 13 Dowie, $40 and 760. 14 Manora, $46 and 1070. 15 out. 16 Majestic Moss, 1460 and 370. 17 Amelind, 2740 and 450. 18 Arishka, $35 and $6. 19 is Magic Constev, $111 and 22. Number 20 Nouvelle, $24 and $4.40. 21 Charfire, $52 and $9 and 23 High John approximately 77 and 13 for the Goodwood Handicap at 20 minutes after four. Now the interim totes for race six in Adelaide. The winner six, Joanne Lou, 3, 10 and 1, 15. 13, Top Guard, 265. 10, Flying Galaxy, $4.80. Six, 13 and 10 interim totes for race six in Adelaide. We might uh, check the interim totes at Kilmore. On race seven, number eight, Little Arnold, 340 and 110. Five, Orchid Lass, $1.30. Nine, Our Reckless Boy, $1.10. The Quinella, $16.90. Trifecta, $133.50.
And Bo's Ambition and Nazinski were the first to get going from Raj Put and also up there early Pink and Black from Human Nature. A wider out Gourmet Prince and Scotts Lane now trying to head them all off, followed by Celestial Motion, Springfield Lad pushing up near the rails. They were followed further back by Salvita Perganella as well back with Willow Moss. Selmane is last and bound Brommer next to last. Round the 1200 turn and Scotts Lane, the three-year-old, went to the lead. Two lengths to Gourmet Prince, a length and a half Raj put one and a half Celestial Motion, followed by Pink and Black, the rails Human Nature. Then Salvita, Nazinski's got back into the middle of the field in front of Springfield Lad is a long way back. Two lengths then to Perganella on the inside. Willow Moss, Brown Bomber taken three deep and they were followed by Selman A. Hardridden and Bo's Ambition. 800 out, Scotts Lane has got them all off the bit by two lengths. Gourmet Prince who's travelled well. Raj put his third from Celestial Motion and then Pink and Black Hardridden. Here's Springfield Lad pulled to the outside from Human Nature. Nazinski needs a lot of luck. It's got back in the field. Up by the 500 now, Gourmet Prince out after the leader Scotts Lane and they're three lengths to Raj put. Springfield Lad on the outside has got to do a big job. These leaders are going okay. Then came Selmane with a big run from the rear. Celestial Motion, Human H and Nazinski to the outside, but still well back. On the corner they race, Scotts Lane grabbed by Gourmet Prince and Springfield led the danger down the outside. Gourmet Prince in front. Springfield led out after it out wide. Well clear of Nazinski starting to run on. But Gourmet Prince holding Springfield led Nazinski flying. Scotts Lane battling back on the fence, but Gourmet Prince has won it. Gourmet Prince first, Scotts Lane battle back for second from Springfield Lad third. Fourth Nazinski, then Celestial Motion, Raj Put, Selman A, Human Nature, Willow Moss. Well back, Brown Bomber with pink and black. Sal Vita is back behind them with Bo Radiance and Perganella has run last. Hard to catch those leaders. They're going well a long way from home. Uh, Springfield Lad and Nazinski made up given because you've got $3.60 and $1.05 coming your way for each win and place unit. Scotts Lane $1.05, Springfield Lad $0.75, cents. the Quinella paid $10.75 and the trifecta $57.25 in race 7 at Mooney Valley. Previous event in Sydney was race 6 on the card and the protest was dismissed in that. So Malcolm Johnston rode his fourth winner for the day on Peaceful Kingdom. $4.20 and $1.20. Second, Eau de Toile, $1.35. And third, Algonquin Club, $1.05. The Quinella paid $13.30. And the trifecta, $112 even. Numbers 4 2 1 there. Race 6 in Sydney. Well, even the youngsters are out at Mooney Valley today, enjoying the conditions out there. And uh, of course, plenty of lawn for the youngsters on which to enjoy themselves. And no doubt, Mum and Dad. We'll be uh, taking a look at the form guide and quite probably the footy. Hey, lucky Rash being eased back to try and find a position. Be Precise is starting to make ground and so is Jacks on the inside. Best Bow is not all that far away. Then the Brotherhood followed by the Cowboy Gold Playboy Hey Eye. And a further back in the field at that stage comes Gypsy Reward and close up no scruples. Again, it's a compact field racing down to the 1,000 metres and Jacks is the leader. Grillette Court White is second. Third posse taken at that stage by Ken Zai, who's prominent positioned and be precise is likewise followed by best bow in the firing line and not all that far away the brotherhood a length the lucky Russ on the inside from gypsy reward and behind those horses prince invader hey I, the cowboy no scruples second last and gold playboy trails at the 600 and jack snuck away by two lengths on best bow third ahead back the brotherhood the inside a length grillette wide ken's eye the inside gypsy reward then be precise and hey I, followed then at the head of the others by lucky Russ prince invader Later, and then comes the cowboy around the corner and Jacks leads by two lengths. Best bow second, then the Brotherhood and Mal Johnston coming down the outside on Gypsy Reward and Malcolm is looking for five. And Gypsy Reward quickly sailed to the lead and what a day this is for Malcolm Johnston. Gypsy Reward's about three in front from Jacks, Best bow and the Brotherhood. But a breeze to Malcolm Johnston and Gypsy Reward. About four lengths their margin on Jacks and Best bow. Not much in it for second and the third. Then the Brotherhood goal play. Playboy, followed by Hey I, the Cowboy Grillette, and then Prince Invader Ken's Eye. No scruples and Lucky Rass and Be Precise was last. Well, it's been a fair little payday for Malcolm Johnston today. Five winners. Number 15, Gypsy Reward is first, and it's a photo for second and third between number three, Best Bow, and number 10, Jacks. 15 and a photo, race seven in Sydney. Now, World Power Flying Handicap Race 8 about to get underway. The light on. Over the 1100 they're set, racing.
perfect start. Northern Pursuit and Irish Chase were the best two to begin from Claude Sun Family Policy and behind them Red Copper from Random Wind and JPEX, then General Claim Pride of Biscay and Cameo Bay last. Irish Chase going quickly early down the side of the 850 by three quarters to Northern Pursuit. Two and a half away Family Policy followed by Red Copper to fourth and behind them Claude Sun followed by General Claim. Back in behind them Random Wind racing three wide and second last from JPEX and behind them Pride of Biscay and two lengths away Cameo Bay. Down the side, 5.50 out, Irish Chase, a half in front of Northern Pursuit. They've gone quickly. Two and a half away, Family Policy, followed by Red Copper to fourth and making ground. General Claim on the inside, followed by JPEX, then Claude Sun. Well back as Pride of Biscay, Cameo Bay, and Random Winters dropping out, 2.50 out on the turn. Northern Pursuit on the outside is joining Irish Chase once again. Red Copper down the outside is now making ground, followed by JPEX and Family Policy. At the 150, Northern Pursuit, three quarters in front. Red Copper on the outside is bridging the gap. Northern Pursuit in front. Red Copper picking it up on the outside. It's doing the better near the line. Red Copper and it's got up to win by a neck. Red Copper by a neck to Northern Pursuit. A photo for third. Two lengths away. Irish Chase or JPEX. Cameo Bay made ground. Followed by Family Policy Pride of Biscay. Claude Sun was back in behind them from General Claim. And last in was Random Wind. Numbers as called by Brian in race eight are seven, four and a photo. Number seven, Red Copper. Ridden by M. Mallion, second number four, Northern Pursuit S. Knoll. And third is close, and I think you'll find that uh, JPEX on the outside, number one, has run third. So it should be seven, four and one after the running of race eight. The last at Kilmore. Starting time is 4.50. Scratchings are numbers three. It's the...